Hello everyone! In this video, I will go over 12 trending products to sell in 2022 and ideas on how to market them with real examples. Hang tight. So, what are trending products and how do you find them? Trending products are exactly as it sounds, which means they have been trending for some period of time. Let's take a look at a few examples. One way of searching for trend items is to check and see. You can do this by checking the date and upcoming holidays or events that will take place in the next month or months. It all depends on which supplier you are using because of the shipping time. You can make a list of products that you are thinking thinking of buying for Mother's Day or other niches related. For example, necklace, rings, bracelets, or whatever you can think of. Once you have your list, you will go to your supplier and type in a few long tail keywords combinations, for example, gifts for mom, gift for Mother's Day, gift ideas for mom, and so on. Do the same on Zeke's product research tool and see the results on what is getting sales. Then you can check with your supplier or another new supplier and see what they have to offer. Okay, so now let's jump into my screen and find 12 product ideas in one trending niche. This is how you can find trending products. All right, so let's jump into a list I've been working on for the past month. Um, it's trending niches for Mother's Day's gift ideas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up some of these links. And these links include the Zeke Analytics competitor research, as well as the eBay product and the Amazon product or a supplier product. So during my product research using Zeke Analytics, I actually ran into this specific seller. I scrolled through some of his products and I actually found this rose flower teddy bear. Here you can see on eBay, this particular item is selling for $22.98. And now looking at Amazon, you can see it's the same exact bear. It's selling for $12.99. So this is product number one, just to get an idea on how this actually will be presented. Now let's jump into my list and go over product number two, opening Zeke Analytics, as well as eBay and Amazon. For this particular product, I used the same seller with my competitor research on Zeke Analytics, and I found another product with him. And the product I found was this romantic LED light gift for Mother's Day. It's selling on eBay for $29.98. And on Amazon, this particular product is selling for $18.39. And if you use this coupon, you can save an extra 20%. So you can get 20% off of the $18.39. Now let's go back to my list and search for the third product. For the third product, I use the same competitor. Here we have this rose with this particular base. It's selling on eBay for $15.99. And I found the same thing on Amazon for $8.49. Here for product number four, I did use a different competitor. So before we move on, I want to mention that all of these items are from the past seven day sales. So I didn't use 30 day sales. I used the last seven day sales. And my criteria for these items is that they sold two times or more in the last seven days. All right, so you can see this necklace with this particular rose box. It's selling for $26.38 on eBay. And then here on Amazon, it's not the same exact product, but it is very similar. And it's selling for $13.99. All right, so number five is this Mother's Day blanket. And on eBay, it's selling for $34.88. And on Amazon, this same product is selling for $29.99, which is not, as you can see, a big deal, not a big profit here to be made, eBay versus Amazon. But Amazon does tend to change their uh, prices. So in my month of searching for this list, this blanket was at a lower price. Now let's move on to item number six. So let's first look at the competitor for item number six. We have this Mother's Day gift, uh, I Love You Forever, Silver Heart. And you can see in the last seven days, this particular item sold eight times. On eBay, this item is selling for $8.95. 
And here on Amazon, we do have a similar necklace selling for $4.99. Also, you also have the option to always go down and search for other types of necklaces that are similar to the one that we found on eBay. And you can see that Amazon is giving great recommendations. You can look for items with higher prices, giving you a higher profit, or you can look for sets, maybe a necklace with some earrings or a necklace with a bracelet. Let's now move on to product number seven. This competitor sold a Mother's Day picture frame two times in the last seven days. On Zeke, the price is around $43. Here on eBay, it's $58. And when we go ahead and open up Amazon, you can see that the price on Amazon is $16.99. Product number eight is a type of lamp sold two times in the last seven days. Here you can see on eBay, it's selling for $19.79. And on Amazon, we have a similar item selling for $15.99. Again, you also have the option to scroll down and see what Amazon recommends such as similar items. Let's now go back to my list and open up product number nine. Product number nine is this particular seller here. We can click the scan seller icon from Zeke Analytics. So you can see that this particular item on eBay is selling for $28.99. And then here on Amazon, it's selling for $12.99. Next to it, you have a pretty similar one selling for $11.99. Now, moving on to our next product, we have this gift for Mother's Day wooden box, and it sold two times in the last seven days. So let's take a look at it on eBay and on Amazon. On eBay, it's selling for $24, and on Amazon, it's selling for $9.99, and it is a music box. Let's now take a look at product number 11. So here we have a keychain gift for Mother's Day, selling at $12.99 on eBay. Here you can see on Zeke Analytics, this particular product sold two times in the last seven days. And then here on Amazon, we have a similar product selling for $7.98. Last but not least, product number 12. Here you have a spa gift basket selling for around $30. So you actually have two products here. The first spa gift basket is a set of eight pieces. And the one right underneath there is a set of 14 pieces. And they're selling at the same price. So here we have the one on eBay for $29.99. And it's the 14 piece one. And then here on Amazon, we have a 10 piece spa kit selling for $30.99. But if you use the coupon, you have the 40% discount. So it will probably cost you around $20. All right, and that sums up our list. Now let me show you how you can market these items. I will use three products from our latest examples. So let's take this product to show you one of the ways you can market your products. So we have this set of spa products. Let's go ahead and open up the photos. And actually, let's go ahead and save this photo to our PC. So now let's go ahead and jump into Canva and create a design. Once you're in Canva, let's go ahead and upload the image. All right, so now that we have the basket photo here in Canva, let's go ahead and do some editing. So you can actually just double click on the photo or move it over with your mouse on this white square and then you can resize this particular item or this photo by just clicking on a corner and going up and down with your mouse this just allows your store on ebay to have a little twist on the items and your photos and you can do you can edit all of your photos the same way this way it looks nice and neat to your customers when they jump into your particular store so now you can go ahead and add a text box and then add a heading, any heading that you want. Once you do that, you can actually change the font and the size of your words. Of course, you can put this text anywhere on this particular white box. And then of course you can play with the font to see which best fits. You can change the color of the text or the font. 
You can also add some stickers just by searching, let's say the word mom, and then it gives you a couple options where you can actually put these on your photo. Now at this point, you're just gonna play around with it. You Whatever you think looks good for your store, that's what you're going to do. You can go ahead and change up the stickers. You can go ahead and just click on anything and delete it from the photo. You can add new things. Just play with it until you are satisfied with the final product. So once you're done with that and you're satisfied with the final product, go ahead and save it to your PC. So now let's go ahead and take a look at another product. Now here you will have to look for a certain photo that you feel best fits. Once you find a good photo, you can go ahead and save it. Maybe you can use a couple photos for a certain product and then just go ahead and test out which ones are best for you. Again, in Canva, you do the same thing. You're gonna go ahead and upload the images that you want to play around with. And then you're just gonna click on the image and move it over to the white square. And of course, Canva gives you the option to put more photos into the white square. So if you have three or four photos, you can put them all in one. Again, you can go ahead and put some photos or some stickers on here. And then once you're done with the final product, you can go ahead and download it. Let's do one more example with this Mother's Day gift blanket. Now again, all you have to do is jump into your supplier, open up a couple of photos and save them to your PC. Once you do that, you just go ahead and open up Canva and upload these images there. This way you can edit, add stickers or text and change the color as well. Of course, you always have the option to put different types of photos and more photos in one. This can be your main photo on eBay. Now, at the bottom of each photo that you do, you can go ahead and click add page. This just gives you a new page where you can put a whole new photo on there and edit that as well. And then for your eBay store, you can go ahead and make a page where you actually sell a set like this. So you can sell a set, a blanket, a lamp, and a spa gift basket. Add some text so people know what you are selling. And there you have it. It's really important that you jump into Canva and play around with this. This is just for the example. I'm sure you can do a way better job than me editing these photos. Remember guys, if a product is just now trending, it's okay not to have the best stats at the beginning. Just be sure to stick with it and gather all of the information you can from reliable sources such as Zeke Analytics. All right guys, that's it for this video. Thanks and I will see you next time.